John Major, meanwhile, kept his government firmly laser focused on the issues that really matter, as revealed in the secret diary that he obligingly kept for private eye. This is the biggest week I have had since I became Prime Minister. Oh yes, I will finally unveil my Citizens' Charter, which everyone has been looking forward to for many months. While Norman and I were eating our Golden Graham Taylors this morning, I was amused to see a lot of articles in the newspapers saying that the Charter had been watered down, no doubt inspired by the Labour Party. Oh no. In my estimation, it has been not inconsiderably toughened up and has more teeth than anything the government managed to do under Mrs Thatcher. For instance, there is a whole new section laying down that in future all civil servants will have to wear name tags saying who they are. And when they answer the telephone to members of the public, they will have to say, have a nice day. I have lots of other brilliant ideas for my charter too. For instance, one of the real menaces of the modern world is when you have a ballpoint pen in your pocket and it starts to leak. Marking your shirt and sometimes your vest, if it is winter time. Under my charter, you would be entitled to recover the cost of the dry cleaning from the manufacturers. Unfortunately, another minister resigned to spend more time with his family today. I have already filled in my New Year at a glance planner, and it is not inconsiderably annoying to have to keep putting in new government vacancies to fill. This is the third this week. In this case, it is a substantial pity, as the minister said he had done nothing wrong. If everyone resigned when they had done nothing wrong, I would have very few people left in the government. Oh, yes. Private Eye. Six decades of jokes and journalism. On sale now.